Okay, welcome back for the third part of the video now. Now we're going to tackle the um, isometric, the 3D part of it. So I'm going to set my ruler here to 30 degrees and we're going to draw a 6 centimeter line in this direction. So remember for isometric, all of the lines are either 30 degrees in one direction or 30 degrees in the other direction or they are straight up 90 degrees so you guys are going to get good at using your set squares and get yourself all set up so that you can um, you know draw these lines nice and parallel to each other okay so let's start off with the outside shape of this thing so let's go up five on this side here so straight up, like I said, either 30, 30 or 90. So let's go up five on this side. Straight up. And we can see how big this shape is going to be. There it is there. That goes in. And there's another little line over there. So if I get my line lined up at 30 degrees, I can then measure one centimeter for that little piece there and then I know from the six centimeter I can come back to in this direction so there's that little piece at the top of there we don't know the angles yet for that but I do know that there's a line that comes across at 30 degrees from there so let's go across now this way and we'll try to get this whole outline, this outline shape done for you. So two in that direction, then two straight down. So 90 degrees again, and two coming straight down as well. So you guys can start to see how this will come together. Okay, then across two again at 30 degrees in the other direction. That's it. So two in this direction. There we go. Okay, then it's down one and again another two. So down one over here. That's it. And two again in this direction. There we go. And then it should hopefully be pretty close. Oh, you can see I'm a little bit out here. That's why precision is so important. Hey? But you can see my lines have come just across a little bit. Okay, so I'll leave it like that for the moment. All right, so we've got the whole outline shape. I need to have two centimeters coming in this direction now. There we go. Let's get this all lined up. And then it comes down one over here. So straight down one. That's it. And then it comes across. Well, I suppose while I've got the ruler lined up here, let's measure the one down here as well. And then we should get a 40, uh, so at 30 degrees, we should uh, line up, yeah, my accuracy is quite far off here, but this is where we get our four centimeter line coming across. Okay, so we're starting to get these shapes together. All right, there's the front little panel. Let's go one centimeter in this direction. Let's try to be as accurate as I can. There we go. Okay, and then it goes in three in that direction. And it just comes straight down from there. So let me just draw straight down. 
from there and then we want to go in three in this direction we're trying to keep our lines parallel to each other that's the most important thing and then obviously do all of our measurements as accurately as we can this one's also three centimeters in the other direction 30 degrees the other way so line it up and let's get the three centimeters going in that direction there we go okay i know at two centimeters i can draw a line up one two three four five as well so let's do that line so at two centimeters i can start drawing a line straight up here that line going up like we said is five so let me get it measured make sure we get it as close to five as we can there we go and then because i've got those lines i can complete the rest of the slope now because it goes from there to the meeting point that's it okay then i'll come across over here meet that one up i need to also measure while i've got this ruler let's measure and draw our line here so it's one centimeter in that direction then it lines up over there this one uh, oh yes so while i've got that lined up can you see i was quite far out over there i think that's what started all the problems for me hey so let's see if i can fix that up a bit just bring it in so that it lines up properly yeah then that'll shift all of these shapes uh, and get them all to line up a bit better yeah there we go because otherwise we're quite far out so just that one measurement at the top and it started to throw all of these out a bit yeah that's much better okay so while i've got that lined up on that 30 degree line there as well we can measure two centimeters in this way and then those will line up as well excellent uh at the two centimeter mark coming down we can measure the two coming in here there it is uh, and if i go one further then that's where we'll start to get our meeting point hey this is where this curve would you know the slope would come in it would then go another centimeter in that direction so oh wait sorry while i've got it there another centimeter in that direction i hope i'm getting this right and then we would have our line going up um, see how close we are hopefully i haven't lost too much in the way of um what's the word i'm looking for precision here because we want it to line up there we want to be able to complete that line there this one needs to come one centimeter down this way there you go and then go back up one centimeter in this direction yeah you can see the isometric takes a while but once you've been getting in some practice and you are getting comfortable with moving your set squares around you should get faster and faster and more and more accurate with this so that you can complete the lines nice and neatly this should be a one coming down here and then it'll join up at the 30 degrees in that direction 
Uh, these lines coming down on the India are two centimeters. So let's measure those ones down. There's a two that comes down there. There's another two that comes down there. That one in the middle there is also two. So let's get all of those lines measured coming straight down. That should help us go quite quickly here for this last little bit. So we can draw a parallel line in there. Make sure that we're getting that shape correct. Okay, excellent. Let's get Fetty going in this direction again. It's just a line that should meet up. Okay, well, yeah, the accuracy is lost a little bit. But there we go. We meet up with that top kind of section there. Let me see if I can just straighten up that line a little bit. Good. So that line comes right across. Then we go in and one. So we need just a one in this side. Excellent. And where we measure the one over here, it will come across and finish off the shape for us. Something like that. And we are almost done. Hey, I think it's just to finish off the last two little lines. One comes straight down. It's round about there. One comes across. And that will give us our asymmetric view. Let me change the zoom here. Uh, let's try 150. Um, let's try 200. Maybe even a 300. Yeah, there we go. Now we can see our completed asymmetric orthographic shapes, top views and left views and right views. Okay, there's just a little bit more hidden detail work that can go into the side view, but otherwise, that's it. Thank you so much.